We're going to go through the basic steps to ensure that you have proper Wi-Fi coverage and speeds throughout your home. If you are experiencing Wi-Fi coverage dead spots or slow speeds in certain areas, this will help you figure out what the cause of the issue really is. If you're experiencing slow speeds, the first thing to do is to do a speed test while your computer is hardwired to the router. This ensures that the issue is not the actual internet source or the router, but is instead perhaps the wireless signal strength or a wireless device itself. If your speed test results while hardwired are very slow, then you need to contact tech support and Wilderness Wireless will figure out what's going on. It could be the router at fault or it could be the upstream connection. So let us troubleshoot and we'll go from there. The next step is to test each individual device and to see if the speeds are really slow on perhaps just one particular device and fast on the rest. This lets us know that the issue is not due to the Wi-Fi router or to the internet source, but is instead specific to a certain device. Remember that not all Wi-Fi devices have the same performance levels. Some devices may be slower than others, so you need to know if it's simply that you're dealing with a slow device and that's the cause for concern. Now, the next question you need to ask is, are the speeds slow in only certain areas of the building? Go around your home, check with the device, and see how strong the signal strength is. You can also run speed tests at different locations within the home. That way you have a good idea of where your dead zones are or where it's kind of spotty. The next thing to do is to consider where you located your router. The Wi-Fi router is essential to having good coverage within your home. If it's located on, say, the east side of the home, perhaps the west side of the home is having issues. It's always best to install the router in a central location. That way you'll have the most coverage area within your home. If you've installed the router perhaps behind some other objects, such as furniture, or a wall made of brick, etc. That's going to dampen the signal strength of that Wi-Fi router. You need to install the router somewhere in an open area. The next thing to consider is how large the building is. If it's perhaps, say, a 1,500 square foot home, likely one router will do all of the Wi-Fi coverage you need. But if it's a larger home, you might need a high performance router to do the job. Now, the materials of the building in question are also important. Things like metal, brick, etc. are going to dampen the Wi-Fi signal strength dramatically. And so you may need a different indoor networking solution than relying just on one Wi-Fi router. Now in this next section, I want you to consider a few ideas that may improve your speed. Position your router in a place where it's very centrally located. That way it covers your whole home as best as it can. Also position the router in an area where it's got clearest line of sight to all of the rooms adjacent. You don't want it behind a bookshelf or anything like that. The router needs to be out in the open where it can broadcast unimpeded by the building or any furniture around it. Another option is to run Ethernet cables throughout the home. Now some homes already have Ethernet connections built into the walls, but if you don't, you might consider running Ethernet cable from your router to other rooms that do not have a good internet connection. This will provide the most reliable and fastest connection to the router. Now, if these tests have proved that certain devices are rather slow while others are full speed, you might upgrade those computers or devices to something newer that has a better Wi-Fi adapter built into them. This will improve your speeds experienced on those devices.
Finally, if you've determined that Wi-Fi coverage is not sufficient throughout the whole home, you might consider upgrading your Wi-Fi router to something more powerful. Wilderness Wireless offers a couple different Wi-Fi router options that we recommend. We have the Wi-Fi Ranger Core Router. This router is good for buildings up to about 1,500 feet. For larger homes or buildings, we recommend the Wi-Fi Ranger Go AC. I hope this video has been helpful and let us know if there's any other questions that you may have.